as you're shopping this holiday season, probably managing your money a little differently than just a few years ago. All of it you can do on your phone. Deposits, transfers, even loans can now be done online, and that's having an effect on the central Texas banking industry. In Austin, 40 bank branches have closed in the past five years, down from a peak in 2013. Now, that mirrors a national trend. The Wall Street Journal found the number of branches nationwide fell by more than 1,700 last year, which is the biggest drop in history. But it's not necessarily bad news for banks. Profits are up, and Chris Davis has an in-depth look and how the move online is creating other types of jobs right here at home. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, good morning, John and Sally. So, like you said, in short, these bank branches are just closing down. This one here in the Miller area used to be a Capital One. Now, you can see that it has recently become a university federal credit union instead, but other branches, when they shutter, they're not becoming another bank branch. And part of the reason, as you might expect, is people just aren't really using them as much as they used to. The Austin-based company Q2 creates digital banking software, mostly for smaller banks and credit unions. Their numbers show people log into a bank website or app 15 to 20 times a month, but only visit an actual branch once or twice a year. So they've seen a lot more investment in digital, really in just the last five years. This week, they bought the Atlanta-based company Grow Solutions, which Q2 says will make online banking more like online shopping. A single mom who's wanting that new home loan, or they need a car to be able to get to work, or they're looking out for uh, their child's future education. Those are all things that are very personalized, and an app or a software can't necessarily fill all of those gaps. My apologies for that. That was not uh, the right sound bite there. But what the uh, general manager of Q2 is saying is that what they see trending right now is ways to personalize the experience a lot more like you would see a personalization in uh, actually walking into a bank branch. Now, the Texas Bankers Association, they say in the last few months they've started the Future Banking Task Force. The goal there is to come up with recommendations for smaller community banks to keep up with the big guys online and on smartphones. The question is whether or not banking and can survive without the community banker. We just want to make sure that community banks also have the information to understand how these changes are taking place. Now, Q2 does see the trend continuing of actual physical branch branches shutting down in the coming years. They say they're already seeing this trend of viewing banking more as something you do, not as somewhere you go. We'll send it back to you.